Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. A refrigerator mix-up. A Coventry man says what he ordered wasn't what he got. Even though it seemed to him like a simple fix, this case turned cold. And that's when he called problem solver Susan Hogan for help. We all know that refrigerators open up to the left or to the right. Add in some kitchens, it really does matter. But when the wrong fridge was delivered, this Coventry homeowner says the last thing he expected was to pay more for the company's mistake. When John Ryan ordered his refrigerator from Sears.com, he needed to make sure it was the perfect fit. We have a unique kitchen with a built-in refrigerator. It can't be any taller than 66 inches, so we were limited in what we could order. After finding the refrigerator he wanted online, John had to make one specific request. The handle go on the left to prevent the countertop from blocking the fridge door. He assured me time in and time over that that's the one that will be delivered and not to worry. On Sears.com, there is an option for this GE refrigerator to open to the left, but since John wanted it to open from the right, he left that blank. But on the day of delivery, John discovered Sears had sent the right fridge with the wrong handle placement. When they delivered the refrigerator, it came with the handle on the right and the hinges on the left, and that was not the one that we ordered. John immediately called Sears customer service, and instead of getting superior customer service like their website promises, John says he was left to play phone tag for weeks. Each person that I talked to refused to allow me to speak to their supervisor, and they, they say I'm not going to get any higher than at the level that I'm speaking with them. When John finally got through Sears corporate offices, he says their solution left him with a price to pay. It had said that they would certainly deliver a new refrigerator, uh, but that would be an additional $500. An additional $500 for that same fridge he ordered because they stated his model was no longer in stock and he would have to buy a newer model, a newer, more expensive model. That's when John called 12 for action. We were hoping to uh, get someone involved to help us mediate the situation because um, every time that we've asked something uh, of Sears, they've refused. They've outright refused and they give us the cold shoulder. Problem. Now we contacted Sears and we were told that they are shipping out the newer model at no expense to John. The mix-up according to Sears was that John ordered a clearance item that only came with the handle on the right even though their website still gives you an option at checkout. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.